Yes, right. we were absolutely out of gas. Give me one more. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We're out here by the $500 Corvette project and the $500 Corvette project is sold. <laughs> it's already sold. I've had the stinking thing for two days. I made a nice little profit on this critter and what happened was, what it happened was, this guy pulled up beside me while I was mowing up here in my upper pasture and this thing was overheating. These cars are notorious for overheating and the reason it was overheating is because it has some air bubbles or air pockets in the cooling system. So what we're going to do today with the $500 vet, which I just sold for two grand, dude, made a sweet profit on this thing. We're gonna show you how to get the air out of the coolant system. This will apply for most any vehicle made anywhere, anytime that's overheating because of air pockets in the cooling system. So let's fire it up and show you what to do. All right? I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life times like this. All right, guys, so let's jump up in this vet, man. I'm a big guy. I am a tall guy, and I don't fit in this thing very good. So we're going to go ahead and start it up real quick. Listen to the horn. Oh, <laughs> that's so pitiful. Uh, here we go. Start her up. The vet runs great. Uh, it would not start when I bought it because it was overheating. So here goes. Nice. Listen to that. That's mean. So the guy's already here to pick it up. We're going to talk him into doing a donut before he leaves. <laughs> so stick around to the end. What we're going to do is bleed this air and I've got a specialized funnel that fits right into either the expansion tank for the coolant or right onto the top of the radiator. So let's show you. So believe it or not, guys, you don't get a prop rod with a $500 Corvette. So this <laughs> broom handle is my prop rod for the hood. This thing is huge. This is the largest piece of fiberglass to date on a car, a production car. So back in 84, when this C4 Corvette came out, this is the largest production piece of fiberglass made. It weighs about 150 something pounds. Oh, up we go. And biggity bam, prop rod. Now, we're gonna go over here, the coolant filling area is on the other side of the car. So here is the Miracle, the Miracle funnel, guys. So this is a funnel that has a seal that fits right in to the radiator right here. And it comes with a bag with all kinds of goodies to fit any kind of radiator in any car. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pop the radiator cap. Again, the engine's fairly cool. It's about 110 degrees right now. Pop that radiator cap and this thing will fit snugly inside the radiator, just like so, so we get a nice seal. Inside this is a plug, okay? So we can remove that plug, and we'll go ahead and start pouring in our antifreeze. Now, what inevitably has happened here is that this fella drained all the coolant and did not get all the coolant back in place like it should have been. He had to replace a freeze plug in the side of this engine, and <laughs> that's why it broke down. You can see it's going on in the radiator right here, guys. See the air bubbles coming out. So what we're doing is using gravity right here. So gravity is letting the air come out. And this actually works better if the hood or the front of the car was up the hill, but that's the air coming out of it. We might just pull on up to the top of the hill here and angle the car. So we're gonna start the car up, let it run for a bit and let it kick all the air out. We're gonna put some Tecron Complete Fuel System Cleaner in this. Thanks a lot, Tecron, for helping support rural content here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Good times. Nice. I'll bet you never saw a Corvette driven around with a hood up. <laughs> so let's show you what's going on under here. I'm gonna keep adding coolant until it stops bubbling out, just like so. You can see it bubbling a little bit. Keep on filling. We're not making a very big mess, which is pretty awesome. Now you're gonna see a change here in a second at about 195 to 205 degrees. When the thermostat opens, you should start to see more bubbles. You can see them bubbling out through there. And you should see some coolant disappear again or overflow. <laughs> What's going on inside the car? Inside the car, I have the heater 
turned on low, okay? Just on low, so that's not interfering with the cooling. And you'll see our temperature starting to come up and our thermostat should engage here in just a second. Look at this old school digital dash, man. That is super cool. I can switch back and forth from the volts to the temperature, 192. We should again start seeing some fluctuation here. When I bought this thing, it shut down. And when it shuts down, that means it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 260 degrees. Our thermostat should open up and at about 210 degrees, our cooling fan will come on. Let's go outside and take a look at what's going on. We're starting to get a little coolant bubble. There's been an additive added into this and you can see we're still getting air bubbles out of here. We're gonna give the engine a little bit of a rev. Get all those bubbles out. There it goes. Thermostat opened up. Now we're burping all the air out of the engine. So when that thermostat opened up, now our coolant fan is on and our temperature is starting to drop. Look at that. Got to get those air bubbles out. Don't be scared of it. Get on that thing. See how much coolant it took? Pour the last little bit of coolant and get our other gallon. Totally starving for coolant. That's why this car was overheating. Oh man, our engine temperature is down to 180 degrees. It's a vet, baby. Don't be scared of it. So the only problem with the $500 vet was lack of education on the part of the previous owner. It's running at 180 degrees. What an awesome car. This car only has 106,000 miles, 179 degrees, guys. That is super, super cool. So we take the plug. Stick it in there, and then we don't have to spill too awful much coolant all over the place. There we go. Put our cap back on. He's ready for donuts. So remember, if you've got air in your system and you need to bleed it out, go ahead and turn your heat on so that the heat is circulating through the heater core so that you're getting all the air bubbles out. In other words, you're getting the air bubbles out of the heater core, you're getting the air bubbles out of the uh, engine and you're getting the air bubbles out of the radiator so that's how you do it man that's just how you do it and you can do it with any car or side by side or anything we're kind of turning into an automotive ranch here on the stony ridge but i've got a little zest for cars and i like to flip cars i like to buy them make a little bit of money so we made what 1500 bucks on this and all we had to do was buy that funnel i'll post a link to that funnel right there I'll post a link down there to it in case you guys are getting ready to do a service on your vehicle and you don't want to run into a hiccup like this guy had with an overheating Corvette that he lost a ton of money on and that I gained on rad thanks a lot guys please pound that like button jump in subscribe to the channel we've got the new owner right here and he is a smooth pimp look <laughs> he wore his grandpa clothes guys this is Tyler How's it going? <laughs> and Tyler, are you going to do a donut for us? Oh, absolutely. Right on. Awesome, dude. I fixed Tyler's car for him so he could drive it home. Rad. Thanks for buying it, brother. Yeah, man, no problem. I appreciate it. He understands I made a little bit of money. That's absolutely. all good. Yeah, he's a big fan of the YouTube channel, so good stuff. We'll see you later, Tyler. All right. Thanks. Woo! Give it to me. Woo! Woo! All right, let's see some donuts. Down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. shirt bud thanks man and that's pretty nice yeah i like to be like an old are man are you happy with the deal you got i absolutely love it how do you beat a 500 dollars corvette <laughs> fire it up baby all right Let's see what you got Yes, we are absolutely out of gas. Give me one more.